start? Or yeah. When were you cleared to, to come back? Uh, full go was uh, this past week, uh, so Sunday for uh, Ohio State. What was just that moment like to you know be cleared again and be able to get back onto the field after you know missing the first couple weeks here? Yeah, I mean it was awesome. It's great to be back out there, even though I didn't get any time on the field. It was just great to suit back up, be on the field with all the guys. Um, this is really special being out for that long. It feels great to be back. So how many practices have you gone through so far? Uh, full go just last week. So we should, uh, just some indie and stuff like that the week before. Were you surprised that they, they asked you to travel already? Yeah, I mean, it? yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I, obviously I had to prepare like I'm going to travel. Um, I've got to be ready for really whatever's thrown at me. Um, wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I had to do, do whatever I could all throughout the week to make it happen. What was the injury that, that happened in the spring? Uh, so I, I had a hip injury from last season, as you guys know. Um, then re-aggravated during the spring and then had another issue going on in the kind of like ab hip area um, ended up having surgery because of that and now feel great so you had surgery in uh april then yep how, how what was the initial timetable they gave you to return and you know was it pretty much on uh, track or were you ahead of schedule yeah i mean i was ahead of schedule uh, it could be anywhere from four months to six months for starting to come back i think i ended up around four months in like a week um, and then full go now, finally. So, I mean, it's been great to be able to be back into everything. How are you just feeling um, getting back into the swing of things? How would you just describe how the hip is, is doing right now? Good, I mean, hip feels great. I, I haven't had any issues with it the last few weeks at all. Um, rehab process is pretty smooth. Uh, everything really feels good. I haven't had any problems. You've, you've had a pretty significant injury every year you've been on campus, yep. right? Is this the best you felt since Absolutely. before you got here? I feel like it's the best I felt, best in shape I've been in a while too. Uh, I feel like I definitely got a lot stronger, even though I was out for those four months. Definitely got stronger in the weight room wise, hanging out there with Coach Snee and Coach Costi and all those guys. What's it just been like the last, you know, three, four years here to, to constantly been in and out? Uh, and how has that taken a toll on you mentally, do you think? I mean, it's rough. I mean, there's, there's a number of guys who've gone through, I mean, worse than I have here. Um, but it definitely takes a mental toll on guys. And it's, it's being around that group of people and being around this family that really gets you through it. and really gets you back on your feet and keeps you going, keep, like stay motivated and everything, get back on the field. So to make matters worse, I mean, you were trying to learn a new position mm -hmm. in the spring. Obviously, you can take all the mental reps you want, but I'm, I'm sure it's a lot different trying to be in there, um, you know, in the heat of everything. How would you just describe how well you know that position after, you know, a couple weeks of spring? Yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely tough. I mean, new position coach, uh, new position for me too. I've played it like a few weeks in the season during the COVID year. Um, but obviously going into it, had to learn a new position with a few days notice. Um, had to really just pick it up fast, extra meetings and stuff like that and try to just get things down, just extra studying. And I mean, it feels great now because now I know four positions on the field and it makes you feel more comfortable with the defense knowing where everyone's going to be. What was your reaction when you guys lost Coach Sheridan? You're already trying to learn a new coach and then, you know, Coach D comes in, uh, doesn't even get to see you play. Mm -hmm. um, how have you been able to maybe develop a, a relationship with, with him or how difficult is that knowing that I mean, he has no idea what you can do? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, obviously coach changes are tough. I mean, Coach D has been great though. I, I just, he's, been, he's an awesome dude. He's really there for He's there for us whenever we need him to. Uh, checking in on us every day, making sure we're doing good, feeling good. Um, mixing us around and everything. I mean, he's he's been nothing but great for us. Where do you think, you know, you factor into this defense? I mean, obviously, I'm sure it's going to take some more time mm -hmm. for, for you to uh, maybe make an impact, but you know, where do you hope you, you factor into this defense when you know you, you, I would assume eventually get some sort of call here? Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. I, I want to end up being a factor in this defense. Um, it really is as long as it'll take me. I'm willing to push through whatever, get to that point. Uh, obviously, I want to be on the field, but I got to do what's right for the team also and just be able to be a team player. A win's a win at the end of the day. Obviously, I want to be on the field for it, but if it means, okay, I have to take a few plays scout and come down to defense, that's what I got to do. It only helped me in the long run getting more reps under my belt. What's the biggest adjustment from going to outside to, to inside? It's just, you know, maybe playing more between the tackles and yeah, absolutely. You know, guys coming downhill at you, or what would you say? Seeing a lot, there? like more big, you got to see a lot more big picture from the back. You're seeing pullers, you got to see angles of running backs. Uh, you got to see everything outside as well. Whereas on the edge, I'm, I'm kind of looking down the line, looking from tackle to running back as opposed to sitting back, reading everything that's going on. How, how do you think you can help this defense uh, you know, if you are able to steal some snaps this season? Not just knowing the defense, being able to make plays and create turnovers and stuff like that. I mean, really wherever they find me best suited for is where I'm going to end up.
So, given your injury history, you know, a lot of guys that, that miss a significant amount of time, you know, never make it back um, to, to where they were. Did you ever, you know, have any doubts, you know, in those days where you're sitting in the training room by yourself, and, you know, everything's going on uh, out here, or how did you just kind of handle that? And you know, was it always in, in the back of your mind, uh, I'm going to make it back, or, or did you ever have any doubts? That I mean, that mental factor is always there, but at, at the end of the day. I have my parents behind me, I have my teammates behind me, the trainers were behind me, coaches. I knew I was gonna make it back. It wasn't a matter of if, it was a matter of when. So I, I knew that, hey, it's gonna take as long as it's gonna take for me to be back healthy, but when I'm back, I'm gonna be back 100%. I'm gonna know the game better than I did before. Being able to watch all these practices and everything, sitting up and just like really watching from a bird's eye view, watching more film and everything. I got the mental aspect of the game down more. Now it's just getting back into the physical. Maybe this is a conversation for a different day, but do they, anticipate you staying at inside linebacker is there any talk about possibly moving you back to outside given that you know maybe inside feels a little deeper than, than it was when you made that move i mean i have no clue i really haven't heard anything about it either way but i mean wherever they need me is where i'm gonna be